The first thing you're going to need to do is download a mod called Yabber. You can get it in Nexus Mods, I have a link in the description. And all you really have to do is open up the context file and then type in capital R enter. What this does is it lets Yabber be accessed by a right click on any file that you want and it makes things go a lot faster. Next up, we'll go ahead and get organized by making a project folder, and inside of that we will have a mod folder, a backup folder, and an images folder. We'll use these while working on this project so that everything stays together and we don't clutter up the desktop. Go ahead and place the installed zip file into our project folder, and then unzip it. Here are the texture files that we'll be working with. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is create a backup of the files that we're going to be replacing with this mod. This way, if you ever need to replace them, they'll be right here. Go ahead and copy the name of this file, excluding the extension, and then search for it inside of the parts folder in your game folder. You might need to remove the other extension as well. Go into your backup folder. Copy and paste. Place this texture file into Photopia. And then grab any images that you want to use for your cape texture. These can really be anything, but just keep in mind that the shape of the cape will affect how it displays in game. want the template to be on top of everything else, so make sure it's the first level. Now you can just scale any images that you have, so that they will display however you like. And then we're going to merge the template with the pattern. Now, you need to make a selection based on color range. You might need to take a sample of the red color in here. Once you have a selection that works, delete all of the red template. Now we're all set and we can just export this as a DDS file. Save it and then place it right into folder that we got this file from, it will replace the template, which is good because it means it has the right name. Next up we have the armor file. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to leave the armor alone, but feel free to change the coloring of it or place any images you want on top of it. 
but we're mostly just going to worry about the fabric here. Now this first image I'm placing diagonally is going to be the sleeves, and those really matter the least here. The second image is going right where the skirt area of the armor is going to be. Again, we want our template to be on top. And we're going to merge. I actually noticed that uh, I had the sleeves on top of the skirt, so when I unmerge, you can just undo any action with Control Z, and I rearrange and remerge everything. Here I do have to take a color sample to get the right selection, and then I delete the red part of the template. And again, we're just going to export this and bring it right on over to the location of the original file and replace it. And this is where we use Yabber. What we're going to do Select this folder, use Yabber, and that will create a TPF file. We can delete the old folder. From there we use Yabber again on this folder, and we'll create a DCX file. Place that into your Art directory in the game folder, and you will have replaced that texture. And uh, this is the result. As a final note, I really want to stress the importance of keeping a backup so that if this doesn't turn out 100% how you want, you can always change it back. After toying around in Photopia for a while, changing these textures actually becomes pretty easy, and you might want to refine your design over time. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I hope people have fun with it. Thank you.